you, you sort of talked about um, so sort of leaving camera equipment with with uh, the the people that you were um, that you were staying with. I, I imagine that that this must have been a tremendous uh, sort of process of gaining trust um, with with uh, the the people that you were documenting. Um, how w w did you sense a, a, a lot of sort of tentative uh, participation at the beginning, and then sort of easing into sort of building a working relationship, or or was it something that 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 sort of right away people were sort of eager to sort of be involved with? Uh, yeah, probably the former. So um, when we first, as Katie was saying, when we first went out there, it was really only David and the bishop who we'd spoken with before we went. And um, David was really crucial in terms of actually helping us connect with the community. And he he was the person who introduced us to a lot of people. We basically sat down with him and he suggested all these people we had to meet. Um, and I think having him introduce us to everyone definitely did make a difference. Although one thing we learned the hard way a number of times was that initially we'd just say, oh, what's going on today? And he'd be like, well, this this party's happening or this meeting's happening and you guys should just come along and film it. And we'd be like, okay, great, David's invited us. And then we'd turn up and then probably pretty obviously everyone else in the community was like, who are you and why are you here filming us? And um, you know, maybe we're not so comfortable with this. So you know, we had to kind of figure out pretty early on that if someone invited us to something, we had to very explicitly say, but have you actually asked everyone who's gonna be there if it's okay for us to be filming? And are you, you know, have you called ahead and let them know that we're coming? Um, and so yeah, definitely after a while, we figured out the best way to approach those kinds of um, you know, group uh, scenarios like the um, there are a number of them in the film and um, I think a key thing was that we learned to arrive like from the very beginning we learned to arrive and just go and introduce ourselves to every single person there and have the conversation with every single person about are you are you comfortable being on camera do you understand the implications of being on camera and of course that took away some spontaneity but um, and took up quite a bit of time because you met, you couldn't just rock up and start filming. Um, but I think it definitely made a difference because uh, in some ways it made us stand out from other journalists who were there who would just kind of turn up and start filming and just not speak to anyone um, and who they started to see as very rude. Um, and it also meant that we struck up uh, relationships with more people. And then I think also the fact that we came back multiple times to continue filming most of the experience. They had a lot of experience working with filmmakers and journalists, but most of the time they would just come for a few days, take up all their time with you know no compensation in exchange, and then disappear and never, even, and never be in touch with them again, never even send them the story that they'd written. Whereas I think when we would leave, we'd stay in contact with them via Facebook or email or whatever, or by phone, and then we'd, we kept coming back. And they kept wondering where this thing was that we were supposedly making, but um, I think that definitely um, helped with the relationship and with the trust.